Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Let's begin. They're into me. They're into me not. They're into me. They're into me not. They're... Are they into me? You meet someone at work or school and they catch your eye. Oh boy, after talking to them and getting to know them better, you find that you've become attracted to them. Great. Now comes the million dollar question. Do they like you back? Figuring out whether or not someone is interested in you can be difficult and confusing. With so many signals flying around, it's hard to be sure if it is purely platonic or something else. Here are a few subtle hints that let you know that the feeling is mutual. Number one, mirroring. Have you ever observed friends or couples interacting? If you have, you might've noticed that sometimes they mimic each other. Mirroring or embodied cognition is an effective way to tell if someone is interested in you. Someone who is interested in you adopts your mannerisms. They begin to imitate you and vice versa. The most common form is walking in lockstep, almost as if they were in a marching band. But don't be alarmed, mirroring is not mocking. It's an unconscious act that occurs when someone is trying to establish a rapport and genuinely understands you. It tells you that the other person is willing to understand and connect with you. Two, dilated pupil. Did you lose yourself as you stared deep into their eyes? Did the phrase eyes as deep as oceans come to mind? Now look again. It might be something about their pupils. Are they as big as saucers? Within the context of attraction, dilated pupils signify that the other person is interested. During the early stages of attraction, the brain sends out dopamine and oxytocin that induces the dilation of the pupils. Number three, mutual eye contact. You often have an eye to eye with them. They just can't seem to get their eyes off you, can they? The love hormone oxytocin is responsible for increased eye contact. When someone is interested in you, they try to establish intimacy with you by holding eye contact. It also means that they're paying attention to every word you say. A study published in PubMed found that mutual eye contact increases attraction between partners and feelings of love. Number four, leaning in. You often find them standing nearer to you than others. Do they shift a step closer when conversing with you? A person's availability makes them more attractive. When you like someone, you wish them to be available for you, physically as well as emotionally. Similarly, our bodies give out physical cues of how receptive that person is towards you. If a person is interested in you, they may lean in or tilt towards you. This naturally happens as compatibility increases. Number five, feet pointing. Have you noticed something strange in their stance? Do they seem to be standing differently than usual when around you? According to Judy Dutton, author of How We Do It, How the Science of Sex Can Make You a Better Lover. If a person stands pigeon-toed, they're trying to convey that they like you a lot the feet point towards where a person's attention is. So if their feet are pointed towards you, it means that they're interested. Someone's foot placement can give you a clue as to how they feel. Who knew? Number six, fidgeting. Do they play with their hair or pick at their clothes around you? Are they extra fidgety around you? People adopt certain tricks when they're nervous and also when they're interested in someone. This is most likely used as an anxiety coping mechanism, but it's also present during the early stages of attraction. Fidgeting on the first date is quite normal because it means that the person is interested, excited, or nervous. Seven, light touch. Do they have a habit of touching your arm lightly whenever you converse? Do they often reach across the table to you? People use touch to connect with others and this is the reason that drives someone who is attracted to you to behave as such. Regardless of the way it is performed, a person engages in physical touch to establish a level of intimacy and closeness. Touching and reaction serve as an indicator as to how you might feel around that person. Number eight, blushing. Have you noticed their cheeks change color when caught in your attention? If they're prone to blushing whenever you're around, it's a surefire sign that they like you. The butterflies that stir whenever you see someone you love or are attracted to cause a light blush to paint the cheeks. This is caused by the rush of adrenaline, which also causes the facial capillaries to open up the sympathetic nervous system dilates the small blood vessels in your face, causing you to blush. Which brings us to number nine, glowing. When someone is attracted to you and possibly starting to fall in love, it begins to show on their face too. They begin to glow. No, not the bioluminescent type of glow. 
Neither do they light up like light bulb, mind you, but it's a very subtle change in their appearance. They may seem even prettier and their skin will look healthier. This is caused by the release of oxytocin. Oxytocin decreases cortisol levels throughout your body. Increased oxytocin begets less inflammation and higher immune system. Gauging whether someone is interested in you may be difficult, but hopefully these hints can help you find the right answer. Let us know in the comments below what attraction-based behaviors you've noticed in yourself or others. If you found this video insightful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with other curious souls you know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.